Hello internet world and welcome to my review of the Ledger Nano X. This little device here is going to allow you to store and keep your crypto secure. So very, very cool device. And it was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer. No money's exchanged hands for this video. They haven't asked me to say anything in particular, just to share with you my opinion and experience with this device. And if at any stage throughout this video, you want to purchase one of these for yourself, there are links down in the video description, including a referral link, which earns me a little tiny bit of commission. So please do use that link if you can. There's also a direct link to the manufacturer's website down there as well. So let's get on with the review. This is the Ledger Nano X. This is what the product box looks like. It's very nicely presented. Uh, it says here, keep your crypto secure everywhere. It also works via Bluetooth as well as a direct connection as well. So this will work with your laptop or your desktop computer uh, for interacting and setting up the device. Uh, it will also work completely offline as well, of course, and store your crypto really nice and securely. We take a look around on the back here. Uh, you will see that it is compatible with Windows, Mac and Linux. And we've also got some details here. I'm going to read these out because it's very important. It says here, your private keys relating to your cryptocurrency, uh, giving access to your crypto assets can easily be stolen online. Make sure you keep them safe and available everywhere you go with the Ledger Nano X, a state-of-the-art Bluetooth-enabled hardware wallet. So when you hear somebody refer to a crypto hardware wallet, this is what they're talking about. And this is the, the standard that people uh, have come to really expect. Now inside the box, apart from the device itself, which we'll take a closer look at in a short while, we get this little getting started pouch. Uh, and inside here, we get some recovery sheets. Now these recovery sheets are where you're going to write down your recovery phrase. And this is what you're gonna keep completely private. This is for your eyes only. If this is ever revealed, then your crypto assets are not secure. And you get three of these. So you could store one perhaps in a safety deposit box somewhere under lock and key, and one in another location uh, should you lose access to the first one. Then we also get a nice getting started guide this is gonna guide you through everything you need to know about navigating the device and getting it up and running. Very, very nicely presented. And there are also some video guides on the Ledger website as well. We get some use care and regulatory information and a couple of nice Ledger stickers in here as well. I will be using these. I don't normally use stickers, but in this case, I will be using them. We also get a USB cable uh, this is a USB A on one end, so standard square type USB. And then on this end here, we've got USB C. Uh, this is what's going to plug into the Ledger Nano X as well. And this is the device. So this is the Ledger Nano X. There is also a slightly more affordable version called the Ledger Nano S, which has a slightly different form factor. Uh, with button placement slightly differently and slightly less capacity as well. So on the Ledger Nano S, you can store less coins, for example. Now, if we take a look at this device, it's really nicely made. This is metal, this cover. This is one of the buttons just here. But as we open this up, you will see that we've also got the little tiny screen in the middle and an additional button. And it's these buttons that you use to interact with the device. And these, it's these buttons as well that you use to navigate the device and also to confirm transactions. And the idea being is that you would set up different crypto wallets on here, perhaps one for Bitcoin, one for Binance coin, or for your other altcoins. And you would actually then store your Bitcoins offline rather than on an exchange on this hardware wallet. Now it has got a little tiny rechargeable battery inside and it has also got USB-C on this end. You need to either connect this to your computer or indeed to your smartphone to interact with it and to set up the device. But once it's set up, then you can confirm and transfer coins onto this hardware wallet without it being connected to your computer. Now these two buttons, if we push one of them, you'll see that it's currently in setup mode. Now for uh, the purposes of this video, 
I'm not going to reveal any of my pass phrases because I intend to use this uh, device from this day onwards for storing my crypto assets. So I'm not going to show you uh, my recovery phrases. I just wanted to show you the little tiny screen here and it's saying, welcome to the Ledger Nano X, press the right button to continue. And we press this and it tells us to download Ledger Live, which instead of being in a browser, it is actually a desktop application. And once you download Ledger Live, you're gonna push right again. And then this is giving you a little walkthrough guide. Press left or right to browse through the menus and lists. Press both buttons to validate a selection. So you push both together to validate something like an OK button. And then hold both buttons at any time to access control center to power off and more. And then we can also get assistance during setup and we can set it up as a new device. So, or we can restore from a recovery phrase or we can uh, just push both buttons. It's given us a reminder to push both buttons to validate something. If I push both buttons, so whilst we're in this screen, you can see that the battery level is currently at 57%, and then we can navigate round to power off or to close and exit the control center. And we can go left or right through these options as well. And to actually choose one, we just pu push both buttons together. So to power off the device, we push both buttons together and the device is now powered off. And then to keep that screen safe, we can close it up into this format here. This is a very cool device. And once my wallets are set up on here, I'm going to be able to store all of my crypto assets offline rather than on an exchange. Now, some exchanges are very secure, but they're definitely not as secure as storing your crypto assets offline. This is the Ledger Nano X. I think it's a superb device. I can definitely recommend it. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you wanna purchase one of these for yourself, please do use my referral link down in the video description. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Any questions you've got, pop them in the comment section and please do subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another one very, very soon.